Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to come out today and share some things with you, uh, but first of all, just to explain why I haven't uh, been out on YouTube for a little while. Uh, I lost my sister, uh, my older sister, Mary Beth, about a month ago, and, uh, and it was a very tough blow for me and for my family. She had been sick for a while and uh, in and out of the hospital. We knew it was coming, but when it came, it was still uh, very difficult. And uh, as, as you know, if you've lost a loved one, uh, it's just not something you bounce back from easily. So, uh, but my comfort in all of it is that my sister Mary Beth was a born again believer. And I know that she is in heaven right now experiencing uh, glories that we can only imagine. And I know that someday, I will get to see her again there, and I look forward to that day. Uh, but for now, I'm just pressing on, uh, carrying out the will and the purposes that the Lord has for my life. And um, and I wanted to share something with you as I was I was pondering some things today, and thinking about just how much the trials and the the difficulties we go through remind us of how weak and helpless we really are, and how much we need. Uh, the Lord Jesus and our Heavenly Father to help us through these times. Uh, it reminded me of a of a dream and a vision I was given years ago. It was a vision within a dream and the message the Lord gave me in this vision. And I wanted to share this with you uh, because I believe this is so relevant right now with everything that we are all experiencing uh, in the world today and, and all the turmoil and the chaos and the wars and the uncertainty. Uh, this is more important now uh, than maybe ever before for us, church. And so in this dream vision, uh, I was under the ocean and I saw something in front of me and it was kind of squiggling through the ocean. And uh, the voice of the Lord said, uh, what does this remind you of? And as I looked at it, nothing really came to mind. So the Lord prompted me and he said, a snake. And I said, yes, it reminds me of a snake. And then the Lord said, I have placed things on earth and in the sea to remind man that he needs me. Again, he said, I have placed things on the earth and in the sea to remind man that he needs me. And this is a really important foundational truth for us, church, because it's very easy, especially when when things are going well for us, to think uh, that we don't need God, that we don't need Jesus. And when, when we prosper in the world, uh, it's difficult for people sometimes to imagine that uh, they could ever be in a dif different circumstance. And uh, the reality is we know that circumstances change. Wealth can be lost in a moment. And the things or the people that we love uh, can be taken out of our lives instantly. And so it's important for us, church, to remember that God desires for us daily to be seeking him and waiting on him and trusting him in every circumstance of our lives. Jesus didn't die a brutal, torturous death so that he could be named CEO and president of an organization called the church. Jesus went through everything he went through in order to bring us, every believer in Christ, into a relationship with our Heavenly Father and with the Lord Jesus Christ. As Jesus defines eternal life for us in John 17, 3, he stated in speaking to the Father, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. This is so important for us to understand that eternal life is not a destination. It's a relationship with our Heavenly Father and with the Lord Jesus Christ. My new kitten, Oliver, looks like he's ready to jump. <laughs> He doesn't like to be alone so anyway um, it's important for us to every day to walk out our relationship with the Lord trusting in him for everything we need remembering 
that he is our supply, all right? And this is, this is a, a lesson that the Israelites learned when they were out in the desert for 40 years, wandering through the desert. Every day they had to go pick up the manna. With the exception of the Sabbath, they, had to, they could collect two days worth the day before the Sabbath. But daily, they collected manna. It wasn't like they could go get a week's worth, a month's worth, a year's worth. No, the Lord wanted them to collect it daily because daily, that required them to trust the Lord for what they needed, for their provision. All right? And right now, maybe more than ever, uh, we need to trust the Lord for our provision. The cost of everything is going up. Rent, uh, clothing, food, uh, everything is, is going skyrocketing. And it may be a temptation to think ahead down the road, a week, a month, a year, what am I going to do? But what the Lord wants us to do, I believe, is to turn to him today and put these concerns in his hands and ask him for his provision and trust him for his provision because the Lord will take care of his own. As the scriptures tell us, I have never seen the righteous begging for bread. As a prosperous nation, the United States of America, we haven't seen famine, we haven't seen a lot of difficulty. We are entering into a time where things may be uncertain but one thing we can be certain of is that our God is a faithful God and he will take care of his own. I hope and I pray that you are all prospering and doing well. And I pray that you are trusting in the Lord with all your hearts and walking with him daily and staying in his peace. Uh, and as always, church, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.